Hey guys, I'm John P. Welcome to Texas Metalworks. Come on in, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the shop. You can see what we do here. We make a lot of different custom things. Let me get the door for you, come on in. Welcome. We make a lot of custom stuff here, ranging from welding tables like this, this is not the welding table we build. We made one out of acrylic so that people could see through it. But we make these out of steel. We make all kinds of custom pieces. This was something that a customer wanted us to make for um, a hand sanitizer dispenser. So you can stick your hand in here and get a little, you know, clean it up. Yes. Custom furniture, fire pits and chimneas. We do routed stuff. This is a piece of artwork that I did that we routed on a, a piece of uh, plastic. We also made our little name tags. In fact, I think when you have a business where you make things, it's nice to make as much of your own stuff as possible. So we've got offices up here in the front, conference yeah. rooms, etc. But come on back here because this is where all the toys are, all the fun stuff. Okay. So. Welcome to the shop. This is our shop. We have a lot of things to see. Yeah. We can start over here. This is a, a, a photo video booth that we built. And we did it because we build a lot of our own products. We put them online on the website. Yes. And uh, we take pictures here. We make videos here. And over this way, we have the Bodor Dream 4 laser. This is the biggest baddest thing that motor has yes and uh we have the two meter by four meter table this is a 22 kilowatt laser it'll cut really thick stuff really really fast so we love that over here we've got our boater tube laser so this one all it does is cut tubing or angle iron it can cut things like I-beams, but we feed them, we, we stick the tubing in a little chuck here, and it pushes in and out that way, and the laser head comes up and down, and it spins around, and it's a miracle of modern science. Yes. And it cuts all these parts that, that magically drop out the other end. So we use that all day, every day, and we use that one all day, every day. In fact, this one especially, we use it so much that we have to be able to load a lot of material. And so we built this area here uh, to hold material that we're loading over there. So if you look up ahead, up, up, up above, we have a crane and we have this lifter. Yeah. And so we will use this lifter to pick up a piece of material, move it over there, drop it on the exchange table, and then we swap it in, the, mach the machine cuts, and then the other part that's been cut comes out. We built some steps so that we can walk up and clear the parts off. Yes, this is easy we'll unloading. Yeah. You know, like this and then we'll do other things with them. So, uh, by the way, this little red uh, rack here, yeah. we've got a rack in the back, that came out of, so it'll make sense in a minute, but we can store material in a rack and we can bring a pallet over here to empty the pallet and then go back and get more. Yeah. So over here, ignore the forklift, it's not normally here. Yeah. We've got some different press brakes. This one is a dinner servo brake. This does not have any hydraulics. It's all electric. The latest, greatest thing. And uh, it's uh, very intelligent. We can take design for that machine. We've also got a small little baby press brake over there. It's not quite as intelligent, but it's good nonetheless. We've got an iron worker. We've got band saws. We've got all kinds of other stuff in the corner. This is actually quite a useful machine. This is our wide belt metal sander. What's very nice about this is if we cut things over there on the laser, then we can just take them over and pass them through the sander. 
and then you get this super shiny, really nice, yes, clean very surface. Smooth. Yeah, very ready to go, ready to weld, you know? Yes. Speaking of which, come with me. This area over here is our fabrication area. Yeah. So actually over on the right side, this is where we do all of our packing and shipping and receiving and things like that. But over yes. here, this is where we do all of our fabrication. So we have a couple of very high end welding tables that we use to actually build other welding tables on. We have a couple of fume extractors so that when the guys are welding, we protect their lungs by capturing the harmful fumes. And we got multiple welding machines. So you can, you can see that we just have parts sitting everywhere. All of these parts have been cut on the, uh, the big fiber laser over there. Yes. Back over here, we actually have another laser here. We've got a little CO2 laser. It's, we just moved it here, so we need to get it hooked up, but that's the one we use for cutting acrylic yes. and wood and things like that. And back in the corner, well, we also have a giant bandsaw here in case we need to cut big, heavy stuff like an I-beam. <laughs> and then right here, this is where those cartridges come from. So each one of those little red racks can hold 5,000 pounds. Yeah. That's about uh, 2,000 kilograms. And so we could actually, in addition to what we have here, we could put another one on top of it yes. and hold 100,000 pounds in one rack, yes. which is crazy. Come on back here, we got some more goodies. We, we store parts that we've already built on this big, wall right here so we try and keep certain things in inventory uh, right now we don't have a lot in inventory because the orders are so high we're just trying to keep up with orders yeah this is our big five foot by ten foot cnc router so on this machine we would route wood or plastic or aluminum you'll see now we have big stacks of wood here all kinds of material for the router yeah. This router has an eight tool auto changer, so we can set one program and it will come grab one tool, use it, put the tool up, grab another tool, use it, put it up. It's uh, pretty cool, it's pretty fun to watch. Back here, we have our giant air compressor. Uh, this also came from Boulder. This one puts out the kind of pressure and volume that we need for the giant laser to cut with just compressed air because it's more economical than having to use nitrogen or oxygen. So that just runs all day long making air for nothing but the one laser. We also have another air compressor over there, which is still a pretty big compressor. Yeah. That compressor runs all the other, uh, all the other machines we've seen that require any air, they come off that compressor. So that's kind of what it takes to run this particular shop. Everybody's a little different, but um, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hello, Joy. I want to ask you some questions. And Hit me with them. <laughs> the first one is, uh, how do you know the border from maybe YouTube or your friends or other size? Yeah, it's a good question, you know, because uh, uh, Boder is based in China, so yes. we don't have a lot of exposure to Boder in the US right now. I know Boder's trying to grow sales in the US, but I actually found out about Boder just by uh, searching the web for mm -hmm. laser manufacturers. Uh -huh. And when we bought ours, or before we bought ours, we were looking at all the, I mean, we're trying to not exclude anyone based on where they were. We were looking at uh, all the main brands, all the big names that you would have already heard about, you know, like mm -hmm. Amada and Trump and Vistronic and mm -hmm. all of those guys. Yes. So my understanding was that Bodor was the largest laser manufacturer in the world. Yes. I figured they probably ought to be in the running. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. And the next question is, 
uh, how, how do you think about the boater machine or our service? Well, okay, first of all, let's talk about the boater service. The service is amazing, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to you, by the way, and the other engineers we've had on staff. If we, if we haven't had the experience we've had with the engineering folks, then we would have, it, it would have been completely different. You know, we wouldn't know anything about Boulder. Yes. But since we've now had three different members of your team come here and spend time with us, we know that Boulder's hiring quality people. They're very smart. They know what they're doing and we appreciate that. We need that because yes. we know nothing, right? We bought these machines knowing nothing yes. and we need the expertise. We need the training and that's been excellent. And so we have, we're very happy with that. As far as the machines are concerned, um, we love the machines. The big, the big uh, laser, the Dream Four, mm -hmm. is fast. Yes, and it will cut anything we throw at it, which is very nice. Yes. As with any machine, there are a few things we love. There are a few things we don't love so much, but you know we're working through it. Um, the tube laser that we bought, the little K two thirty, it's amazing, and it's a, it, what's most amazing is that originally we were not thinking of buying that at all. Yes. We were just gonna buy a flatbed laser and we're using that bandsaw you saw out in the shop to cut every piece of tubing, thousands and thousands of pieces of tubing. Yes. And now we got that little tube laser and I can't believe that that was not the first laser we were trying to buy because it's revolutionized everything, you know? Yeah. So I'd say we're pretty happy. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And the last, uh, do uh, how do you have the expectations of border future? Expectations of yes. what we're going to do in the future, right? Yes. Well, I try not to have too many expectations because in the past people have let me down when I expected a lot from them. So, uh, I I I have hopes for the future, not expectations. Okay. Yes. My hope for the future is that these machines will continue to run perfectly yes. without flaw. And also my hope is that when we do run into problems, that Boater will continue to give us the same level of support a year from now as they gave us in the very beginning, you know? Yes. If we, if we can maintain that kind of relationship, it will be amazing because most companies don't do that. Yes. But if Boulder sticks with it, I'll be very, very happy.